You guys, this is me <laughs> trying to do something different because we always put eat the same thing so much. And just want to put something a little different, that's all. And it's something that I love to eat. It said burn your curry. Hope I ain't put it. Woo! That's so good. And when I make curry before and try it to anyway, I never burnt it. Because I didn't know. Well, we're going to burn it. Not literally burn it, but we're going to do this. Oh, I need to get my pimento seeds too. Um, I'm going to win on that with my all spice.
Cabbage with some. I put some baking soda on it this time. Mm Okay. 
veggies for the cabbage. tend to the cabbage. Now let me go over and tend to the cabbage real quick. And I need to put 
my veggies, and I have that Better Day Bouillon um, stuff in it, and I'm going to season it with wood. what we got well I don't want to season it with too much stuff so guess what we're just going to do this all purpose candles I'm going to do some mint onions of course you know I love that some onion powder this all purpose seasoning and where's my garlic powder and my garlic powder. That's all I'm gonna put in the cabbages because I have this other stuff that's also flavorful that does the bouillon. You really don't need nothing in it when you put any in your vegetables. It's gonna be awesome. I'll be right back. Next, I'll start on the rice. Give me a minute. The rice and beans. Hold on. Yeah, I thought I was recording. Jesus, I poured I poured the um better than bouillon chick roasted chicken mix um broth into the um I thought I was recording y'all. I'm sorry. I know that I would put some Creole seasoning, but everybody don't like spicy like I do. Oh, I need to make my cornbread too, guys. Okay, I don't want to use. Oh, Lord, they get up my nose. I don't want to use too much. And of course, you always will come back and taste your stuff and, you know, and see what's missing. If you need to add more seasoning or what, you might do cornbread and rice. Garlic powder. That's why I tell y'all in the, what I'm using in it because once I get the cool on this stuff in the cool, I, I forget to tell you. what I was saying about the better than bouillon and already has salt in it that's why they use the other seasonings plus the, the bacon has salt all right let me put my vegetables it's hot in this kitchen <laughs> I be trying to get all my stuff, but that one don't come out. So we have a I'm thinking I'm put cabbages. This is my third time on, on here making cabbages. So, we got different ways of cooking it. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna put the lid on that. Let that do what it do. And I am going to um, get my cornbread ready and my rice. I'm gonna go ahead and put the rice on first and then I'm gonna do the cornbread. So, we'll be back. All right, y'all, so, you know, one cup of rice, two cups of water. I'm going to mix my rice, because you know we got to make sure the rice really good. While everything else is over there smoking. I'm going to have that out. Like I always do. 
I should have used the whole bag because I really don't like leaving a little bit in the bag. But, you know, you need that like that. So much starch on it, y'all. Please rinse it. And also, while I'm thinking about that, please come. Well, you ain't got to come in, but please, unless you like it, please <laughs> subscribe um, to my channel. Like it, share, subscribe, whatever you want to do. But please, please, please. I'm not on all these other social media platforms because I haven't gotten that far yet. I'm still trying to get the YouTube thing going. I don't lost count how many times I done watched it. Kidney bean, red kidney beans. I'm trying to think if I'm, am I going to take the liquid off of it? I'm going to take some of the liquid off. Baker's Joy to spray my pan. Alright, so we're going to sit that over here to the side. We're going to put a little brown sugar in it. We're going to add a little brown 
brown sugar out of stuff. I know, I know, I know. We don't need it. I know. Trust me. I know. But we gonna do it. I always use two boxes of cornbread to make it thick. Fluffy. I cleaned the floors and mop, swept and mop, and of course, I see some little scraps of cabbages on there. I did turn the cabbages down, so I'm trying to hurry up. All right. Can y'all see it in the sink? Of course you can. Are you looking at me? Okay. And of course, you use two eggs. Why? Because I use two boxes of cornbread. And then you're going to double the milk. Whatever you use, whatever you do, double. Double of the recipe because you're using double. So that's the one third cup. One third cup equals two thirds. All right. I'm going to go ahead and mix this up real quick. I just use this. 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, 10. I like using the little spatula thing because it's easy to get wiped down, scrape down the sides. Yeah, I know y'all don't see me make cornbread before. I'm, one mistake I did make with the curry is I put too much water in it. So I believe I'm going to have to use some cornstarch and water to thicken it up a little bit. But that's no problem. Ooh, the cornbread thick already. Alright, so I'm just using not even that much. We, we, Okay, I'm gonna just get a few, a handful out. Well, not even a handful. See? That's all we're gonna eat that much. This is 50. 60. Cornbread because my mother loves the cornbread with greens, of course, greens or and cabbages. Old school. My granddad used to have cornbread every day, whether it's flapjacks on top of the stove or in the oven. And I had said I was gonna use the uh, cast iron skillet to cook the cornbread, but I forgot, y'all. Nothing done wrong. 
I'm just going to cut it off and put it back on the 400. And we shall return. All right, so. It's my cabbages. Start them all in the picture. Now these should be done. I'm going to taste one. A little piece. See, just grab a little piece off of there. Mm. Good. That's right. That's right. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna keep it on low. That is good. And then see, I gotta put some. What you call in that? So let me get that together real quick. It looks good, but I'll be right back. All right, here's my rice and beans. All right, so I put two scoops of cornstarch in here. So now I'm just gonna stir it up. I don't, I don't, I can't tell you how much water I put. How much is in here now? And bring it up to a little over half. I put less water in it, I know.
I've been picking the time stems out. My cabbage and my cornbread. I'm gonna plate me a little bit because I'm really not hungry after drinking all that water. So I'll be right back. All right, you guys, here's my plate. Like I said, I'm, I didn't get a lot because I've been drinking water around the clock, y'all. I haven't been drinking enough water and I think that's why I've been feeling nauseous and stuff. So I want to make sure I get in the water today because I was doing clean, I was cleaning and everything like that. So here's the food, my beans, beans and rice, my curry, cornbread, and my cabbages, you guys. It looks delicious. I'm going to taste it. My son isn't here, so I had to fix me a little plate. And the cornbread, you see how look, I did the cornbread? I was like, I said, I'm not hungry like that. But, all right, you guys. Thank you all for watching this video. I hope you all get inspired. Um, like I said, I love trying new things. and Well, this ain't new, but mine's don't come out like this. My curry chicken. But, anyway, hope you all feel inspired to to cook one of my recipes. Like I said, I'm old school. I'm a country girl. And I'm trying to come up with different things that don't. Oh, Hold on. But like I was saying in the video, I haven't been drinking a lot when I get busy. On the weekends, at work I do. So that's all I got to say, you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and try to eat and see what's wrong with this child. Thank you, guys. Bye.